Welcome to Letter U Week. And in honor of Letter U, we are going to make two crafts, both starting with the letter U. In fact, both of these crafts use very minimal materials, paper plates for both. Let me introduce you to my unicorn and my UFO. For this alien, or I should say UFO craft, I'm gonna need the following materials. I have my markers, I have crayons, I have two types of glue, I'm not sure which will work best yet, and I have a clear plastic cup, paper plates, and if you were able to download and print out this template, it will be very handy. However, you can always draw your own alien and just attach the trapezoid shape to the bottom. And that's what I am going to do. So come on and watch. So now I created my own alien and I glued it to the trapezoid base. And I thought it would be fun to add some orange antenna with pipe cleaner, but that was just something I had at home and I thought that would be a nice added benefit. Now I'm going to decorate my UFO or the flying saucer. Now that I have the top of my flying saucer decorated, and remember, I flipped it over so that the puffy part was sticking out. That's the part I decorated, not the inside. I'm going to make like a little sandwich. I'm gonna take a second paper plate facing upward, and I'm gonna connect the one that I just decorated like so. And I'm gonna add glue around the edge to secure it. You could also use a stapler, you could use tape, or if you have a glue gun at home and you have an adult that can operate that, that would work as well. The thing with glue is that you do need to let it have some time to set up and harden. Now that that's in place, I'm going to take my alien and I'm going to bend it back so that the trapezoid is behind the alien. This is gonna form a stand. I'm going to put glue on the trapezoid shape. I bent it back and I'm going to press onto the center of my decorated plate. I'm gonna let that harden. Sometimes you might need a little extra tape to hold it down which is totally fine. And sometimes you might need a little piece of tape just to make your alien stand up nice and straight. And then when that's done, I'm gonna take my cup and I'm going to do just like I did with the plates and I'm gonna put glue all around the edge and put it on top of my alien. And that's that. For my unicorn craft, these are the supplies that you will need. One paper plate, glue or tape, crayons, markers, and if you were able to download and print the unicorn horn and the unicorn ears, you have them ready to color. If not, feel free to draw your own. Let's make a unicorn.
So now that my horn and my ears are colored and cut out, I'm going to attach them to my paper plate. I have one paper plate and I'm gonna turn it upside down so the puffy part is facing me. I am going to attach my horn by putting it underneath. I'm gonna use a little tape to secure it. So this is what it looks like underneath and this is what it looks like from the front. I'm gonna do the same thing with the two ears. Attaching in the back. Little piece of tape to secure it. Number one. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other ear. Attaching in the back. And securing it. I am adding a little tape to the front just as added security to hold them up nice and straight. So this is what I'm looking at right now. So my next step is to draw the eyes, your unicorn eyes. I always like to use a pencil to sketch out my eye first and then go over it with marker. So I think I'm gonna put the eyes here. with a few lashes and then I'm going to outline what I just drew with marker and in my unicorn her eyes are closed but I think she looks sweet. Now I'm going to give her a little lip and maybe in my imagination my unicorn has almost a kitten-like mouth. So I'm going to use my pencil to draw out the shape. I'm going to make an upside down triangle for the nose. I'm going to color that nose pink because I think it would be cute if she had a bright pink nose. But of course, you can use any color that you like. This is your unicorn after all. And then maybe for her lips, Maybe I'll use this color, a little bright orange. She's magical. There were no rules. And that's her face. The final step to your unicorn is adding extras or embellishments. Now, you may or may not have feathers at home. You could add them along the ears and the unicorn horn. You might have flowers silk or paper flowers that you can glue and attach to the front of your unicorn. You might even have stick-on gems. And you might have pom-poms too. But I'm gonna pretend that I don't have any of these things and I'm gonna show you what you can do with cotton balls. I'm gonna turn my face over so that it's looking at me and I'm gonna carefully pull apart a cotton ball to make it almost like a cloud, very soft and delicate. Then I'm gonna take my liquid glue and I'm gonna spread it exactly where I think I want these cotton ball decorations to go. And I'm gonna carefully spread my cotton. I think it looks cute. So you can see from one cotton ball, I was actually able to get quite a bit of space covered on my unicorn face. Do the same thing with this one. Spreading my glue, and then I'm going to attach my cotton ball. Then I'm gonna do the third one right in the middle. And remember, when you're pulling it, you want to be gentle, but at the same time, you want to really tear apart those fibers of the cotton ball. And voila. Now, what you can do to add a little more pizzazz is to carefully take any marker that you have and lightly go over cotton. Let's see what that looks like. Just brightly going back and forth. It almost looks like cotton candy when I do it.
just barely touching it. Now you're going to have to take off a little bit of the cotton that does come attached to your marker, but it's worth it because it's very pretty. And I'm lightly brushing over the cotton. Kind of gives a nice effect. I'm pulling off the extra, putting the cap back on the marker, and maybe I'll use a little bit of the blue. And there you have it, a paper plate unicorn. So as you can see, I used very few materials to make two very different crafts. And I adapted my materials to work with what I had available to me. And that's, after all, the best part of making a crafts. So, I'm gonna say goodbye from my unicorn. And my UFO is about to zip off to another planet. Bye, my loves!